There was a time when people worshipped the ancient Greek gods, but sadly, not anymore. In a world full of busy people, it is already bad enough that the Greek gods have been forgotten. But it gets worse. Mortals have even started ridiculing Greek gods by using their names for outlandish products. Naturally, the gods were not happy. And until they do, isn't it time to intervene, Zeus? How can you stomach bearing witness to such atrocity whilst doing nothing? I obey the law. No god shall interfere in the affairs of man. The sea has forever been an unpredictable domain. disturbing news from the East Coast. Scientists at the Georgia Tech Research Institute have claimed that there has been some alarming activity in the Atlantic Ocean. At approximately 3 p.m. this afternoon, scientists detected a massive disturbance in the center of the Atlantic Ocean. Now, there have been no claims yet as to what this disturbance might be, but it is confirmed that there is a massive tsunami headed for the East Coast and the Caribbean. We now bring to you Dr. Alexander Alexiev live into our show. He is a renowned expert from the Georgia Institute of Technology in the field of fluid mechanics and should hopefully be able to shed some light on this matter. Hello, Mr. Colbert. I'm glad to be able to help out. Hello, Dr. Alexiev, and thank you for joining us today. Now, this has certainly been some very disturbing news that we have been hearing. Would you be able to shed some light on the matter? We can use Freud's number to, cap to analyze the upcoming tsunami. Now, Freud's number otherwise noted as FR, is the ratio of dynamic pressure over hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure due to the weight of the fluid. So as the depth of the fluid increases, so does the hydrostatic pressure. We have dynamic pressure, which is the pressure due to the velocity of the fluid particle. Now using dimensional analysis, we find that Freud's number is equal to the velocity divided by the square root of gravity times the height. Now for a tsunami, Freud's number is equal to 1. Now using complex mathematical manipulations, we find that velocity is equal to the square root of gravity times height, where height is the depth of the ocean water in this case. Now on average for the Atlantic Ocean, we have the average depth equal to 3.4 kilometers. Plugging this into this equation, we find that average velocity at the center of the ocean is equal to 650 kilometers an hour. Now, as you can see from this diagram, as we approach the coastline, the depth of the water decreases. And with decreasing depth means we have decreasing velocity. Now, we also know that velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So with that same decreasing velocity, keeping frequency constant, we have decreasing wavelength. And you can see in this diagram that wavelength decreases as you get closer to the coastline, and also that amplitude increases. Now, uh, let's say amplitude near the middle of the Atlantic Ocean is 1 meter. By the time it reaches the coastline, it can get up to 10 to 30 meters in height. Dr. Alexiev, just how large do you think the tsunami could get? Honestly, we've never seen anything of this nature before. The magnitude of this disturbance is much greater than anything we thought was humanly possible. In this scenario, waves could reach up to 50 to 100 meters. We're all in great danger. 
Now, such a large disturbance in the center of the ocean without any sort of prior indication or warning, what do you think could have caused it? Normally, an earthquake on the ocean floor could have caused something like this, but I really don't know. It's like something really big fell out of the sky. Now, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it could have been aliens. So there you have it. That was a professional opinion from Dr. Alex Eve. We will bring you more updates on the R. Until then, this is John Corbett from Rambling Wrecked Up News, signing off. Man, that's really intense. Who would have thought, dude? The world might actually end in 2012. Guys, I think I have an idea for the fluids video. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. Oh, no, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah.